draft simulator field piece. And check vacuum switches with it. I got one over there, I'm gonna check. Comes with a couple of tubes. And you, know, you could pull a vacuum on a switch to check it if it's any good. They say you want to make sure you take it out of the furnace. Uh, make sure it's not full of water. I know this one's good. This one was in my truck. This is for a power venter. Uh, it's the only one I have. But let's see how this thing works. Let's look at my fuel piece. You know, this way I'll be able to check it. When it's pulling when it's when it's kicking in. A couple of tubes here. This tube wants to go on a vacuum switch. I don't think it matters which goes on what, but then I'll put this one over here on my unit. And I'll zero it out. And there's a couple of leads here. On these leads here, there's a small and a big female connector. This particular switch here takes the bigger one, so I don't know if I like that or not, but I guess it's okay. I'd rather have a little alligator clips myself. But... All right. This has got the two speed. It's a one, off, and that's the second speed. I'll watch how it comes up. I'm going to watch for the red light. Two point eight. That vacuum switch. So I'm going to let it run and see how, I think it goes up pretty high. Yeah, things cranking up pretty high, so that's good. A lot of times I come to furnaces, you know, and the vacuum switch isn't working. I don't know if it's a block heat exchanger. This is good to have to be able to check it, take it out, check it exactly to see if it's within 10%. It's good. So this particular one is adjustable. I got it cranked all the way down on the lower setting. It cranked all the way up to 0.9. So that's good. This little thing's gonna come in handy for me. Two point eight. That's it. Got a little button up top there. Low and high speed. Seems like I gotta leave it on high speed. I'm gonna try playing with this adjustment. Don't seem to make a difference on mine. I'm going to turn it all the way counterclockwise. It's 9.9. I'm turn it all the way the other way. It's actually going up a little bit. No, well, not really. I find by unplugging this and zeroing that out and then doing it again is what I needed to do to get the vacuum switch to work. 2.6. gonna come in handy 
that's where I'll be able to tell for sure if the vacuum switch is bad or what the deal is. A lot of times, you know, we're over there, we're over there with a hose sucking on it or something, trying to see if it works. And this is uh, it's like 180, 182, 182 dollars, something like that. But That's another way you can do it, is just shut it off and wait for it to, uh... Two point eight, okay? And I'm at three two, and I'm gonna shut it off. And I'll wait for it to drop. Okay, and it kicked in at, um, two point one. Watch these connections. If they're not good, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work. Two point one. Two point eight. Or point two eight. I'm sorry. Negative. Shut it off. And that red light goes out. 0.21, it went out. So we're getting like a point, 0 0.08 glide on that differential. Nice little piece of equipment here. I'm glad I bought this. Alright, guys, I appreciate you watching.